I think we're in the midst of the largest experiment in human history. We're going to look back on this time period and say, I can't believe we did that to our children. We essentially are jeopardizing the immune integrity across humans, and we're wiring children for medical intervention from birth. We're making a feature-length documentary looking at today's medicalised approach to childbirth, but seeing it in a whole new way, through the lens of a microscope. Scientists in the emerging fields of the microbiome and epigenetics are starting to warn that routine use of intervention in childbirth could have a devastating impact on the immune systems of our children. Interventions like use of synthetic oxytocin, antibiotics, C-section or formula feeding could significantly raise the risk of our children developing serious disease later in life. These scientific discoveries are tied into an event that could be described as global warming for the species. Because we're facing a worldwide disaster predicted to happen by the year 2030 that could have catastrophic consequences for the whole of mankind. Which is why we're launching this campaign now and why we need your help to get this film finished and seen around the world before it's too late. The potential is there to have an impact at a civilizational level. If we don't take the bigger perspective and fund research that asks the smart questions, the big questions, the developmental questions, intergenerational questions, epigenetic questions, how do we know that we're not altering the course of humanity? Last summer, when we started filming scientists in the UK, Canada and the United States, we uncovered a connection between the routine use of intervention in childbirth and the rise of non-communicable disease. The World Health Organization has declared that non-communicable diseases are already at epidemic proportions all around the world. And they're rising fast. They're the world's number one killer and include heart disease, asthma, respiratory diseases, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, some cancers and mental disorders. The World Economic Forum has predicted that if this epidemic continues, the cost of non-communicable disease will bankrupt the world's healthcare systems by the year 2030, potentially driving us into a global economic crisis the likes of which we've never seen before. We're at a choice point and we know that we can't afford the burden of chronic diseases on the path that we're presently on. So it's not really sustainable. It's something that we need to do something about today, not tomorrow. To explain why birth is connected to the rise of non-communicable disease, first we need to go into the science of the microbiome. In the late 1990s, scientists discovered that we are actually more bacteria than human. There's 10 times more bacteria or microbes than human cells. Collectively, these bacteria are known as our microbiome and they are a key player in our immune system. So what we have here is an image of one of the types of immune cells in our body called a macrophage. We study the mechanisms of exactly how other cells in the, human, in the body are told, hey, we have an infection, come help us out. But what has the microbiome got to do with birth? Scientists have discovered that the baby's microbiome isn't properly seeded until the actual moment of birth. It starts with vaginal delivery, whenever that's possible, because that's when the newborn receives the first microbial delivery, and that comes from the mother. There are other opportunities during skin-to-skin -skin contact with the mother as well. But then the second step that's exceedingly important is the opportunity for prolonged breastfeeding. If the baby's microbiome is seeded correctly at birth with the mother's own bacteria from vaginal birth immediate skin-to-skin -skin contact and breastfeeding, then it will kickstart that baby's immune system, helping protect that baby for its entire lifetime. But what happens if you interfere with or bypass completely the natural processes of childbirth? With development of the immune system, there are key benchmarks, there are key points in early life where events happen. If they don't, then the immune system never gets it quite right later on. And that's, that's the reason we have a problem with increased risk of disease. One of the things that happens with cesarean delivery 
increasing the risk of these childhood diseases, such as asthma, celiac disease, and type 1 diabetes, is that the other diseases where there is elevated risk may occur later in life, that the children are essentially programmed as a result of these early environmental conditions for the appearance of subsequent chronic diseases. But the science doesn't stop there. Researchers working in the field of epigenetics are starting to investigate whether any damage we may be doing now with interventions in childbirth could actually be inherited by generations still to come. If physiological birth, normal birth, has these huge effects on mothers and babies, spiritual, emotional, psychological, social probably, and if they also have these long-term effects in terms of autoimmune disease, non-communicable disease, chronic disease, not only for the current generation, but potential generations to come. Answering this quest these questions about what it is about labour and birth that makes a difference are abs is absolutely fundamental and crucial and urgent. At first sight, all this does appear to be quite terrifying. But then it hit us. This science was not all about doom and gloom. Because if you turn it around and look at it from a different perspective, what it's actually doing is revealing a potential solution. Just to be clear, we're not making a film that's calling for an end to medical interventions in childbirth, as many times they're essential and they can be life-saving. But with intervention rates rising all around the world, isn't it time to look again at their routine use? This science could be the catalyst for world leaders to make childbirth a top priority. It could be the catalyst to fund more research into the long-term effects of intervention. The sooner we can identify what epigenetic changes are occurring and if there are truly um, risks for negative health outcomes down the line, we can make an, a significant impact on health for all mankind. So far we've travelled about 20,000 miles, but we're only halfway there. We need to visit the Human Microbiome Project in New York and we need to interview the top people at the leading obstetric organisations, the United Nations, World Health Organization and the World Economic Forum. And we need to get the film finished and seen around the world. We used an Indiegogo campaign just like this one for our last film to help expose human rights abuses in childbirth. Over a thousand people in 50 countries signed up to hold premier screenings of Freedom for Birth with a combined audience of over 100,000 seeing the film on one day. The screenings created headlines in the global media and they inspired debate that is starting to bring about change in maternity healthcare worldwide. But this film needs to be even bigger. We want to have thousands of premier screenings all over the world held by strong-minded, strong-willed individuals just like you. We want to have screenings in every country, in every community. And we want to have screenings at the United Nations, the White House, Downing Street, and in every seat of government worldwide. If we can do this, we can grab the attention of the world's media. We can grab the attention of global healthcare systems. And we can grab the attention of our prime ministers and our presidents. Childbirth has become a multi-billion dollar business which means that we have become consumers of this business. And as consumers, we have rights and we have a voice. And with thousands of screenings happening right around the world, we will have a powerful collective voice that will help bring about change. If you want to be part of this, if you want to help us, then please consider contributing to this Indiegogo campaign. And if you want to hold a premier screening, then you can secure one now by selecting a premier perk on the Indiegogo campaign website. We believe that this is a moment in history. But the choice of what happens next belongs to all of us.